Hi, today we're going to take a look at whether a graphic facilitator can help us discover our organisation's values. And I should say, this one can. Can a graphic facilitator help us discover our organisation's values? What's your organisation's situation? Maybe you've done pretty well on defining vision and strategy, but there are some behavioural problems leading to inconsistency in the employee and customer experience. Or perhaps the early startup vibe of your organisation has got lost as it's grown. It no longer feels like family, where everyone has a strong sense of belonging. And you're noticing some of those new management recruits don't seem to realise they're breaking your great startup culture. So, wouldn't it be great if your team, board leaders and stakeholders told consistent stories about how the values are lived on a day-to-day -day basis? To make that happen, you need a small group of key people in your organisation who will really get the values. You'll also need an experienced graphic facilitator who can design a process that enables the group to work up those values. Phase 1. Visual Storytelling Firstly, you need to bring together a team of people who really buy into the idea of crystallising and introducing values into your organisation. Let's call them the values team. They will take part in a graphically facilitated workshop which will produce output that will transform the core of your organisation. Your values team works best when there's a cross-section of people with different roles and experience. We begin by drawing out the team's stories of what already exists that demonstrates the best of the values-led behaviours as they are now. We then look for underlying themes within the stories of when the organisation is at its best and summarise them into four to six values statements. Then we help the values team work out what they could do with this information and encourage them to dream about what it would be like if these values were clarified, enhanced and consistent across the organisation. A rich picture of their dream is then produced in collaboration with the team who will share their metaphors and vision for a values-led workplace. We work together on this because this large-scale graphic is going to be the organisation's visual map and compass. The interactive development of the rich picture is a remarkable way of engaging the values team. They thoroughly enjoy seeing their contributions carefully synthesised and captured real-time in simple graphics, metaphors and words. The end result is a large compelling picture that can be reproduced onto PVC and displayed on your office walls to creatively capture the serious intention behind the values. Phase 3. Communicate, communicate, communicate. People just love a good story and they'll like it even more if there's a beautiful drawing that captures the nub of the story. So, getting values-based stories out into your organisation, along with some supporting displayed visuals, will enable the values to really speak to people and engage them on a deeper level. So much better than receiving a PowerPoint. You know Rome wasn't built in a day. It can take up to three years to truly embed organisational values into its DNA. There will be times of acceleration and stagnancy unless this is properly managed. Often organisations go on an upfront sprint, get some feel-good, valuable data and think, job done. But we know from experience that often even leaders can forget the words, let alone the intentions of the values that they have created. To find out more, click the link below for my in-depth blog and I've included a free 10-point checklist that if you work through it, will truly embed the values in your organisation. If you like this type of information, give me your thumbs up, like and share with your colleagues and peers, and I'll see you next time.